All right, so I have a question. Um, first and foremost, I'm a massive wrestling nerd. Uh, that's something that you guys probably don't know. I think I made maybe one wrestling-related video on here, if that. Um, I don't talk about wrestling on here often. I just don't, right? Will that change? I don't know. But for all my wrestling people out there, whether if I know you or don't know you, right... I want somebody to explain to me what the fuck is WWE doing with Dominique Mysterio. So when he debuted a couple of years back, um, he debuted by getting his ass whooped by Brock Lesnar, right? Lesnar dragged him over the barricade, beat his ass up to try to get into Rey Mysterio's head because they were having this pointless fucking feud, right? Since then... You start seeing some growth with, with Dominic Mysterio. He's still by his father's side, but they have been... He's, hell, he's even been a champ. He's had some pretty sizable matches, considering how he started off. But he, he's even been a tag team champion, right? What was this, about a year ago? Year and a half? How do you go from debuting with Brock Lesnar to being a tag team champion with your father... To getting your ass beat by a damn girl two weeks in a row. Now, this ain't a knock towards Rhea Ripley. I think Rhea Ripley is fucking amazing, okay? I think Rhea Ripley is the fucking truth. Uh, I love her size. I love her agility. I love her damn physique. Uh, I think she's hot as hell. Um, I think she is just the full fucking package of what a damn... Uh, women wrestlers should look like and act like and be like. I love Rhea Ripley. But you're trying to build up a future star, right? I mean, that's that's the goal with all these damn wrestlers. Otherwise, why the fuck are they here? You know? How do you possibly sit here and say you have faith in Dominique Mysterio if he's getting choked the fuck out one week by a damn girl and then getting his ass beat another week by the same damn girl. And when I say ass beat, I'm not fucking talking about, you know, um, oh, like a slap by Stephanie McMahon. And, you know, you can't do anything back to her because you're a gentleman. And because, you know, her father is Vince McMahon. And, and you know, her, her damn uh, husband is Triple H. I'm not talking about any of that, Okay. I'm not talking about some just let her hit her let her hit you and then you you do nothing about it. Logically, you literally have this man get dragged the fuck out on the stage all bloodied and bruised up as if Rhea Ripley just fucked him completely the fuck up backstage. Logically, this doesn't make any damn sense and I don't see how you can truly sit here and say that this man is growing as a superstar. Um, I don't get what the fuck is happening with him. I know this is a random ass fucking wrestler to talk about. Um, I don't even like Dominique Mysterio that much. Um, I think he's terrible in the ring. I think he's boring. Um, matter of fact, I think out of all the people I mentioned, Rhea Ripley's probably my fucking favorite. Um, but at the same time, it's like, maybe he can be about something if you guys stop treating him like fucking garbage, you know? I get it. He's undersized. And, you know... That, honestly, that's really the fuck it. He's undersized, you know? I think if he was fucking bigger, I think people would take him seriously. Um, but... To get his ass whooped like that... Two weeks in a row... By the same damn girl... And I'm not talking about... Like I said, I ain't talking about no slap here and there. I mean... Ass beat. Two weeks in a row by the same damn girl. That's fucking sad. That's, it, it's, when WWE does shit like this, that makes me fucking question, like, the logic behind anything in life. 